Now, this is what I call a great backstory for a group of antagonists. Not everything is the way it seems. But the main entire thing I have analyzed <coughs> throughout this entire show so far is this. People don't know how to communicate very well. Claire's hatred for um for her sister. The reason why the sister did what she did, she could have talked to to Claire. Instead she didn't. Claire's involvement with Suichi, better communication could have happened. Um some misunderstandings with the new group there with better communication could have happened. And the stuff that started all of this could have been prevented if they had better communication. So much miscommunication in this series, but it's so realistic. There'll be times where people just keep stuff quiet, keep things secret until it's too late, and then, like, oh, they are, we want to release it now, when it's already too late. Congratulations, genius. And many people will think this is stupid, but this is very realistic. So a lot of people do that. A lot of people withhold information for some reason, and then when it needs to be released by then, they want to release it now. It happens so many times, whether it's for the good or for the bad. <laughs> withholding information is what causes so many misunderstandings and so many things that go wrong in life. Now, let's just analyze this backstory, because this was pretty good. So, Suichi's original memories. He was in a group of people with cram school. He had friends. One of them, of course, was Elena. One was Kaito. Um, Haruto, Aiko, and Honoka. All of them had fun together because they were children. And then when they were like near high school, I believe, they all split. They barely saw each other. Until Kaito, which I believe he is the true... The, the final boss, the true final boss, because he's the one with who apparently gathered all 100 coins, and no one can seem to be, be him. He wanted to bring everyone back together. The reason why he became who he was is because of miscommunication. So much miscommunication. You know, first he was talking, he was talking to his friend, um... Um, Norita, um, Nato, and his girlfriend, um, Aiko, see how she's been acting different, acting weird, and then he just drops it. So he wants everyone to go and meet up together. Everyone comes along. Everyone's there but Honoka. Apparently Honoka's father killed someone, so she had to leave town. Those are nearby relatives. She wants to go check on those. He wants to go check on those relatives, but she ran away as well. So, things that seem suspicious, until um, he realized <clears throat> Aiko was acting different. She was swilling her hair around, and, and he started putting two to two together. He noticed Aiko was acting differently, especially when she went to go see the alien, and he figured out that what happened. Honoka was Aiko the entire time. She took her body. Because of this, he assumed that Honoka killed Aiko. It makes sense. He remembering visions of the past that Honoka also had a crush on the guy that Aiko was going out with. And so he assumed, he like, okay, let's just kill this girl. You know, we can't go to cops, but clearly we have to find a way to stop her. But everyone was like, no, let's just keep things the same. <clears throat> You could do that, but in again, it's, it's just kind of wrong. I guess because Kaido had a strong sense of justice or whatever it was, he went to go get revenge. Now, because of this, she just let Honoka just let Kaido kill her. Just let her do it. And then only to find out that Aiko actually killed herself. She killed herself. Apparently she was being bullied. She was trying, it's that thing where you try to, it's that stuff you see in a lot of Japanese manga and anime where someone's getting bullied, then someone comes in to defend the victim, but then those people start bullying the person, and then it goes all downhill from there. 
And because of this, she couldn't stand the bullying no more. I guess apparently teachers have no power in anime. It's, it's really amazing how the lack of power teachers have in anime. It's like the student council has more power in the school than the teachers and the principal does in anime. Isn't that amazing? Here, here in the student council, most people don't even know who is on the student council or even care. But in Japan, in anime, now if you want to sue a council, you're pretty much God. You're God, man. <laughs> Anyways, all the jokes aside, because this is a very serious thing. Yes, Aiko actually killed herself. And this was, once again, another misunderstanding because people withheld information. Apparently people knew what was going on, but they didn't. They didn't mention to him once again. They didn't mention stuff to him. They didn't mention that um, Hanko moved out. He had a fight for himself. And they didn't mention that um, Aiko killed herself. All this could have been prevented if, first of all, I don't know why Aiko or Hanuka let herself get killed in the first place. I thought she, was, she took her place to live her life. Her life sucked. I mean, it was guilt. I Maybe mean, she didn't want to do it anymore. I wouldn't. If I, I, that's one thing I do have problems with. I thought she would try to live because for the sake of her best friend. And it seems like um, um, Naito, um, Naruto, fuck, his name, the boyfriend was okay with that in a way. You know, just let things slide. Things are just fine the way they are, and they were fine the way they are. It was a little messed up, but if if they all knew that Aiko killed herself, they should have said something. Kaito wouldn't have done this. Now Kaito was blaming himself for everything. So he probably gathered a hundred coins and protecting the crash site, making sure nobody else gets near the coins. And now he is all powerful. He is the only person who gathered all a hundred well, one hundred coins and now he is untouchable. If I were him, I would have tried collecting all the coins and um, making sure the alien get the hell off the planet so he won't change anybody else into a monster. If I was Kaito, he has the power to do that, apparently. But he doesn't do it, so it makes no sense to me. So there'd probably be more method to his madness, hopefully, you know. Or then that's just like, I guess he didn't think this one through, pal. But then again, he doesn't seem to be the guy to think things through the right way. Unless he's given the right information. So anyway, things go back again with where Suichi killed off one of the surviving gang members from Motoka and Claire snooping around at the old place, finding out that Suichi's transformation goes way back since there were children. Now, how did Suichi lose his memories? We don't know. I don't know what happened. Probably it was a thing that Elena did. We'll have to wait and see. But other way, this really is deeply involved with Suichi. But Suichi, in a way, seems to be more of a bystander in the original situation compared to um, Kaito, the guy who truly, well, started all of this madness. Well, you could say Kaito started it, and then you can also say that um, Aiko did by killing herself. But once again, all this could have been stopped if people just told Kaito what was going on. Everyone kept the guy in the dark. Everyone has kept them in the dark. And because of that, so much terrible stuff happened. All this could be prevented. But then again, such as history is. A lot of stuff could have been prevented, but it wasn't. Because we humans are flawed as hell. And we are bound to make mistakes. And sometimes we learn from them, sometimes we don't. I believe next episode is the last episode. So, look forward to it, people. It's, it's, everything's coming to a close. It's all coming to a close, man. Uh, my life in the villains is ended. It's in the bookworm is ended. Oh man, everything's ending. Tower of God is ending this week. <clears throat> We're running out of stuff to watch, and I'm not looking forward to summer to tell you the truth. Just re zero, really, but that's it. So, anyways, that's all I got for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell icon. This has the background on a minute. Signing out.